So to start this project, we will be making a slip knot. And then we're going to chain 35. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So once you have 35 on the uh, second chain from hook, you're going to be working a first single crochet. So one single crochet into every stitch or you can work into the uh, back chains Okay, and then we're going to chain one, turn one single crochet into the same stitch, work one single crochet into each stitch across. So after working four rows of one single crochet into every stitch, so I'm doing my last single crochet here. So after doing four rows of one single crochet into every stitch, next is we're going to chain two, which will count as one half double crochet. We're going to turn and then we're gonna skip this stitch the next stitch and then into the third stitch we're going to yarn over and then we're gonna work puff stitch so we're gonna do this three times one two three and then you're gonna pull all through loops and then into the same stitch we're going to do another bust stitch one two three and there you go next is we're going to skip three stitches one two three and into the fourth that is where we're going to work another puff stitches one Two, three, and then chain two, and then yarn over and into the same stitch. One, two, three, and, and then we're going to skip three stitches again and into the fourth here. We're going to work another pop stitch. There. So 
keep repeating until you get to the other end. So you should have eight puff stitches on this row and once you get to the last three stitches you're going to work your last stitch you're gonna skip two stitches those two single crochets and then into the last stitch work your half double crochet so next is we're going to chain one we're gonna turn and into the same stitch as where we chained one we're gonna work one single crochet and then into the on top of the uh, puff stitch we're going to be working a single crochet and then into the chain two we're gonna work two single crochets and then on top of the next puff stitch we're gonna work one single crochet so basically we're gonna work one single crochet into every stitch so we should have 34 single crochets on this row 